A tremendous situation is unfolding in Ghana. A proposal to spend 200 million on a new parliamentary chamber has stirred mass unrest in the country. While the average person in Ghana is suffering and barely able to eat, while the rich elite are purchasing themselves a comfortable new workplace. The popular anger at the movement is spurring the population to rally behind the Socialist United Front. People are unifying across the socialist spectrum. The population, it seems, has rejected the corruption of the bourgeois parties and are now throwing their support behind the various social parties in the country. Much of this situation was made worse by the unjust arrest of a man, Comrade Ernesto. All also arrested were two other members of the Economic Fighters Party. The public and different socialist parties have demanded their release, and thus far they have been released but only on bail, and an end to the wasteful spending. Even members of the military are now speaking up against the corruption and throwing their support behind the socialist front. Our parliamentarians telling us that they don't have any use for their what, two hundred thousand dollars they are raising to uh, construct a new uh, uh, yes, chamber, a uh, parliament, parliament house. Is that what they are telling us? If they don't have any use for that two hundred thousand, let me suggest some uh, something to them. In fact, there are still buildings, there are still schools who still uh, children who st uh, still learn under trees. There are still school buildings who don't have furniture in them. There are still rural areas, villages who don't have clinics. There are still uh, 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 towns who don't have potable water. They should start thinking. They should start thinking. Your Excellency Nanado, I know you won't support this. And I don't expect you to support this. Please, don't let the parliamentarians bring their trouble this time. We are fed up with them. We can't be living in this country when everyone takes decisions which is so selfish. This is so selfish a decision. And that, parliament, that chamber must drop, and I support that. Thank you very much. Military officers are now denouncing the government. A junior military officer, Lance Corporal Wasa, spoke out against the arrest of Eduardo and the building of the new parliament wing. He has now been arrested. Now they're leaking info to the public and to socialist parties and calling for a mobilization to protest. Previously, several months ago, the government refused to pay the military salaries for a whole month. The conditions are good, not perfect, for a mass mobilization to throw out the capitalist government and replace it with a socialist one. Now we should keep in mind that this is a country that was formerly socialist and still has a nostalgia for it. It was formerly led by Kwame Nkrumah. He was the first Prime Minister and President of Ghana to have led the Gold Coast to independence from Britain in 1957. He is a legendary socialist leader in Africa who has remained a symbol of resistance. I, for one, am very, very optimistic about the situation inside the country. Many of the leaders of the various socialist parties know each other personally and they are all uniting together across party lines against the bourgeois government. Any small line differences are being shoved to the side in order to get to the goal of actually carrying out revolution. This is the kind of socialist unity that we see in the third world by those who are really suffering. They are united against building a new wing for the parliamentary chamber while there are still many, many children who still go to school underneath a tree. They don't even have a physical building. Many of them don't have a clinics to go to. And because of these material conditions, they have thrown aside any small differences they have in order to work together. This stands in stark contrast to how things are done in the first world where splits and petty bickering is all too common. Now, if things continue the way they are and there's no uh, major downturn in the situation, we could be looking at the Ghanaian government possibly being gone in three weeks to a month. We could be looking at the birth of a social, another socialist country, this time in Africa, or the return of one, within a month's time before the end of the year. If, situation, if the situation continues to be good, 
and organization continues to be carried out. So I am very, very excited to announce this because it looks like we could be having, you know, a, a new socialist country before the end of the year. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.